The mathematical world has been obsessed with this. Obsessed with how a triangle looks. Like this, like this, like this, like this. Or maybe if I play a little bit more with my triangle, I can pull it like this, like this, even like this. There's so many things I can do to a triangle. There's so many types of triangles that I can have that it had all the mathematicians ponder and wonder and be obsessed about it. And then the mathematicians were so fascinated with what we could do when three lines formed a closed figure that we started giving names to different, different types of triangles. Note that I used the word different, different twice. Well, that's because it can be different based on only two things. Different one, based on the length of its sides. Different two, based on the measurement of its angles. That's it. So let's talk about the length first. What are the possibilities? You can tell me. Okay, if it's based on having equal sides or unequal sides. The first case then can be that I have a triangle where all the three sides that I'm going to draw are not equal. That means this side is not equal to this side is not equal to this side, like you can see. And this special triangle gets a very special name. It's called a scalene triangle. Okay. And then you have another type of triangle where two sides are equal. Okay, so how would you draw a triangle where two sides are equal? Say that these are the sides that are equal. And this side is not equal. This triangle has also a special name. It's called an isosceles triangle. And then what's the third case? You tell me. You can have one more type of triangle, right? You had one where none of the sides were equal. You had one where two sides are equal. And the third type, where all the three sides I'm going to be equal like this. And this is called an equilateral triangle. The name itself says what it does. Equilateral, equal. Okay, so these are the three types of triangles you'll see a lot about. Okay, and one more classification. I talk about different two. That's based on the angles. And these are really, really obvious. You'll be like, oh my God, I already know this. What are you teaching me? Okay, but we'll anyway go through it once. It just depends on the nature of the angle in the triangle. So the first type of triangle that I can have based on its angle is an acute angle triangle. And what is an acute angle triangle? An acute angle triangle is a triangle which has any angle in it, any angle in it less than 90 degrees. Pretty obvious because acute angle means an angle which is less than 90 degrees and nothing new. Okay, so that's one type. The other type of triangle that I can have is a right angle triangle. A right angle triangle is a triangle where one angle, one special angle here is going to be 90 degrees. Okay, moving on. The third type of angle, okay, let's think about it. Acute, right, what have I missed out? Yeah, obtuse. An obtuse angle triangle is a triangle with one angle more than 90 degrees. Perfect. So, something like this, right? This is an obtuse angle triangle. So, those are the three types of triangles. Let me officially present them to you. Number one, number two, number three. These three based on the sides. Push them up. And these three guys, a round of applause for all the six triangles, please. In their grandeur, based on angles, based on sides. Very, very obvious names. Absolutely nothing to be scared about, okay? They're all your friends. And with these six guys, you're going to learn a lot, lot, lot more about these amazing geometrical shapes. Okay, before we move on, I want to ask you a very interesting, important question. Can a triangle have two right angles? Listen to my question carefully. Can a triangle have two right angles? Yes? No? Don't leave it to doubt. Let's try to do this. Okay. So, I have a right angle over here. Okay. I have a right angle. Now, to complete this, I need another line. I have two lines. This is 90 degrees. So, I'm going to bring in another line. And that line has to sit at 90 degrees, either to this line or this line. Right? If that's the meaning of the third angle. So, I'll try bringing it in. And if you observe what's happening, I need to bring it in like this 
only with respect to this line or if I try to bring it with this line like this which means that it's an open figure it's not a polygon right it's not closing and remember the definition of a polygon it is a figure it's a closed geometric figure made up of lines and clearly this is not closing it looks like a U an inverted U or a straight U it's just not closing so this is not possible what does this mean that if I have a right angle triangle I can have only one angle which is a right angle the other two angles have to be less than 90 degrees wow that's a lot we did with three lines huh if you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these like and subscribe to our channel now